Hello guys, hope everyone is doing good. So yesterday I posted a video of me testing another crowd treasure on Mac, but I felt that the test wasn't really given a lot of information. So I did this video to compare performance between Gatepot in Toolkit 1 and 2, and also the results in the XVK. So, I'll be launching this on version 2.0 of the of crossover after patching it with CX patcher. Now, as you can see, the the settings are all on high except the resol the resolution. But that can give us some clip performance difference. Okay, let's start. Now, I played this game long ago. I I did not finish it all the way, but um, I played a lot of this. It's basically Elder Rings, but uh, in the summer, you know. It's very hard, but... Yeah, this type of game I would really recommend if you're going in a trip in a plane or something. Really long trip. That is a very good game. Anyway, so let's kill this guy here. I really like the design of those bosses. Anyway, now as you can see, um, on version 2.0, the performance is actually really good on IE settings. Oh, he killed me. Okay, I was focusing on the performance. So here we have like from 70 to 80, going up to 90 FPS. I'm sorry, I'm not the. I'm, I did not play the game in, in like forever. And I'm focusing on the performance. I really like how the boss attacks because it gives when when you play, it gives you really some. It it, it makes you really stressed. I don't know if the difference of performance between... Oh. Nice. Okay. We finished the job. Okay, now let's let's try... Let's try now game put in toolkit. Um, the first version, so we can see the difference between them. Okay, let's uh, let's let's try let's try DXVK first, so we can have an idea of the difference. I think DXVK tend to do more um, shader compilation than in, in D3D metal. Okay, so again, let's check the the graphics. Highest graphics, just like um, like we tested the the game porting toolkit V two. 
Let's see the if there is a difference in performance. Okay, now I can see some shader compilation, so performance can be a little bit. Uh... Okay, now we have. I think it's it's about the same, but a little bit higher maybe. Let's see after some some gameplay the results since there's a lot of shader compilation. Okay, we have like um, between 80 and 90, which is good. You know, I tried to play uh, Elden Reigns before, but I could never uh, beat any boss. I mean, just some bosses that are pretty easy to beat. I think I prefer um, I prefer more of a calm game. Not calm game, but like <laughs> not soul games. Um, well, this one is is pretty cool. Uh, it's it has some vibrant colors. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Um, let's try low settings and see what performance we will have. Hmm. Okay, it seems. It seems to me like uh, like the same. No? Okay, it's not it's not dropping as it used to to the seventy. It's it's staying between the eighty five and ninety. Yeah, definitely better than before, but not that big of a difference. Okay, how do you close them? Okay. Yeah, definitely better. It's not dropping as uh, it's, it's used to to drop, but um, yeah, still not what I expected. Since we are setting like uh, the lowest setting, but but also um, this the the quality of the game didn't change a lot. I don't know if it, because it's uh, it's kind of cartoony or. Uh, So remember, this is on the XVK. We already tried the um, um, Game Party Toolkit version two yesterday. When I tried the um, when I tried the game, it was on uh, Game Game Party Toolkit, and I was thinking that I'm testing on Game Party Toolkit two. Okay, um, let's try, let's try another game, let's try, um, let's try the same game, but, uh, on Game Porting Toolkit, uh, 1, version 1, to see what's, uh, the difference look like. Okay, so this is the patch one with the CX patcher, and this one is, um, the original one with the... With version one, you put the toolkit version one. Okay, so let's navigate to our bottle. Okay, um, let's change from the XVK to metal, and um, let's launch it and see what the performance would look like. Okay, um, it's not going full screen. 
some reason. Let's try. Um, okay, let's let's wait and change it from the the settings maybe. Okay. Now uh, let's change back to high settings so we can compare it to um, this, to compare it to um, V2 of Gameport in Toolkit. As you can see, it's uh, this one is um, it's version one point one. Okay, let's uh, let's try to play better this time. Okay, this was uh, a reality a reality check, a very quick one. Okay, let's try our best this time and see what we can do. Okay, so the FPS is is way worse than it than the game port in Toolkit 2, since we got from 70 to 80 in game port in Toolkit 2, and now we are getting only 60. So it's definitely a nice uh, jump in performance. Let's say 50 50 FPS more, and uh, it's really good. Waiting for the crossover 25 and we will see what kind of performance we will have. Hopefully we get uh, we get closer to the quality uh, the Steam Deck gave with the uh, Pro Proton. Okay, so um, as you can see, I'm I'm really beating him, but. Uh, Even me, I don't, know, I don't know how I did it. Okay, this makes sense. Watery grave. Okay, so we got on Gameport they took it too. We got uh, between 80 and 90. And with DXVK, we got, um, we got above 90. And with Gameport in Toolkit 1, we are getting around 60 to 70. Okay, let's try to finish this video with a nice clip. And uh, yeah, so if you made it this far, I thank you. And uh, please follow and comment what you would like me to post.